Hey guys, so let's get real. Um, this is a video that only MTG Line would make. Uh, maybe Rudy from Alpha Investments will make a video about this, but uh, it's a very real topic. It's how much money does Magic the Gathering YouTubers make? I will speak about myself and myself only. Uh, I make enough to buy a Big Mac meal a day. If I make, um, if it's a really good month. So if it's not a good month, I cannot buy the meal, I can just buy the Big Mac. So you kind of know how much money I make from just that statement. Now, that is from YouTube money. Uh, my Patreon is very unique. My Patreon does not make me money. I used to write this email to all the Patreons with a breakdown of how money is being spent. And for the large majority of these breakdowns, um, and you can ask any of the Patreons, we lose money because of artwork. Now, if you take artwork away, we still lose money. So. <laughs> Uh, it gets some, it's bloody some months and it's bloodier some other months in terms of what is spent on Patreon and there's a lot of, um, I think more than, I want to say 75% of my Patreons uh, live outside the US. Shipping is slightly more expensive to really expensive and the cards that we give away, the, um, the new artwork, we actually got new artwork printed to be postcards. That's all relatively ex expensive. And then, you know, there's fat packs and boxes for the people who buy them. And they're, it's really not a great savings. It also takes me a lot of time because I have to <coughs> write the addresses for everyone and now just ship it out. And, you know, it all takes time. I have to go to post office sometimes. Uh, hopefully not this week, but maybe, maybe I have to. But it really depends. So at the end of the day, it does take a lot of effort to run my personal Patreon and we are, I am personally in the negative most months, if not every month, um, especially months involving any type of artwork or any type of printing, which I'll show you guys later. Lots of really cool stuff I got to print out uh, for my Patreons. Now, there's other sources of income which I don't really participate much in. Um, the biggest source of income being well, Patreons are a very big source of income, and if the Patreon is you just donate money and the person the, doesn't really give anything back, that's a great source of revenue because that's pure profit. But even then, the Patreon, they take, they take money away from you. The PayPal will take money, uh, Patreon itself will take money, and at the end of the day, you don't get all the money that you know, is donated. So Patreon is a very big source of income for a lot of Magic Gathering YouTubers. Uh, but the other source of income is uh, projects slash um, paid merchandise. Um, paid merchandise would be like play mats, leaves, um, mobile apps, like funding, uh, you know, GoFundMe for a mobile app of some type. Um, they can be anything from repacks to Rudy's thing where he sells you magic cards at a discount. <coughs> and, the, and a lot of times, when you deal with that, there is profitability, right? Because otherwise, why would that person do it? Now, sometimes the deal is so good, I will address Rudy's deal right now. His prices are very low. And I know his prices are low because I know what the actual distributor price is. My friend runs a store and I order at a certain price and then I give him 10% on top of that price and that's how we do it. You know, he makes 10% um, from products he otherwise wouldn't buy or sell, and he has a guaranteed buyer. And his prices are good. His prices are very, very close to distributor prices when you include shipping. So that product makes sense to me because it's actually a deal. But, you know, play mats, sleeves, things of that nature, the point is to advertise yourself as well as to make income. You're not going to spend $1,000 in play mats and then sell them for a dollar a piece, right? That wouldn't make any sense. You would go bankrupt real quickly. So those are the uh, merchandise would be the another way. Patreon, merchandise, YouTube, those are the three major ways you can make money from um, having a channel. The last way you can make money is sponsorships. They include Puka Trade. They include uh, boxes. For the most part, I'll be honest with you, the boxes don't give you money. They just don't. It doesn't work out that, hey, you open a box and you also get money. At most, you pretty much just get the box of material. Now, is having cool boxes of stuff for free, like a benefit of every channel? Yes. But it involves a lot of talking and like you, the dude, I'm not gonna call out exactly who, but like it's talk, 
how talk you you have to talk so much to these people that it's really not worth the time invested to get your free box of merchandise and some of these people just after you're done talking they never actually pay you or give you the box and it's just like okay cool bye so those are the main ways that you can make money from magic the gathering i would be there's probably there's two channels maybe three or four channels which make a considerable income from magic the gathering and that's because they have something to sell right if you don't have anything to sell, like I'm not a card shop, I'm not selling you cards, then it's really difficult to make money because what am I going to, how am I going to make money from you? Um, and then as for YouTube videos, most YouTube videos, if the lifetime of that video makes me $2, that's a good video. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So we're not making like tons of money. Um, we're not making, uh, we're not doing this because we don't have anything better to do or like our day jobs don't make as much as like this channel. Like the majority of YouTubers who are my size, a little bigger and smaller, there's no money in it. There's really no money in it. Uh, by the time you buy your $1,000 camera, you buy your lighting system, uh, you buy your Yeti f microphone, you buy some uh, equipment, you pay the monthly uh, tube, tube buddy fee, there's no money left. There's just no money left. At least that's my experience. So if you guys are YouTubers or you know YouTubers, uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. I really would like um, more people to get to the point of like Tolarian Community College where he can kind of quit his job and do it because that's gonna make a better community for everyone. Um, and that's gonna make a better community for subscribers, for other content creators and really give, um, he's really inspiring because be, before Tolarian, I would honestly make a video saying no one can make enough money to support themselves via Magic the Gathering YouTube, but he's done it. So he has been the trendsetter, and I only expect more people to follow that model. Anyway, bye guys.